Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a tag video. I know it's been such a long time since I did a tag. I think I've only done maybe two in like the history of me being on YouTube and I've been on YouTube for a while. But um, this one sounded really fun and I read over the questions with my roommate and I was like, I have to do this tag. And it's the 15 weird facts about yourself. Now I tagged everybody, so make sure you film yourself I'm answering these questions and post it as a video response to this video. So let's get started. I'm going to be reading the questions off of my computer screen, which is below the camera. So that's why I'm looking below and not at you guys. Okay, let's start with number one. Um, what's a nickname only your family calls you? Now, the only thing that I can think of, there's two nicknames um, that my family calls me, or most of my family calls me is Chona. It's C-H-O-N-A. I know it sounds weird, but um, my dad started that by calling me Son Sonia La Chiona or Chona. And I don't know, the background b behind that, um, Chona, from what I get from it, is that I love underwear. And I love underwear since I was little. And my mom would call me that. And it's like Sonia and Chonis, I don't know, smushed together, you get Chona. I don't know. And then it rhymes with Chona La Chiona. And um, basically that is just Sonia's a big crybaby in translation. And I was obsessed with underwear since maybe about one years old. I was potty trained really early. And my mom said that the first thing that she did with potty training or she showed me a pair of ruffled underwear that she got me and I wanted to wear them so bad. They were red ruffled chonies like in the back. They were um, ruffles in the butt and um, that I put them on one day and I was running around the house and it was time to take it off to put my diaper back on and I was like no I don't want to put my diaper back on so my mom said I had one accident after um, putting those ruffle underwear on and that's it I was hooked on underwear and to this day I'm still an underwear freak I have a whole drawer not just the top skinny drawer that people usually have on their dresser for their underwear and their bras. I have a whole drawer dedicated to underwear because I love underwear. And then I just think of one other one that, um, like the kids call me Tata. My goddaughter, she's been calling me that since um, she could speak or try to speak instead of saying Sonia or um, Tia Sonia or what have you because that's how we call each other. All, all the kids call each other Thea, Sonia, Thea, Christina, or whatever. But me and my twin sister, I'm Tata and she's Titi, so that's what the kids call us. I don't know. Number two, what's a weird habit of yours? Um, this one I really don't understand. I mean, what do I do that's weird? Um, probably change my clothes way too many times but I don't think that's really weird I mean I'm just a typical girl I think we all do this and I'm a freak about it I go into the closet and change about a hundred times before I put this, the first outfit back on that's usually what happens um and it's just like ugh, it looks ugly or ugh, I look like so swollen or yuck it doesn't fit me right and I'm just a typical girl that's what happens um Probably the only other thing is I paint my nails way too much. I'm addicted to nail polish. I mean, I would go to the store and buy a few bottles every time that I would go shopping for beauty products, and I just can't help it. I love to paint my nails. I am still in the process of growing them out, and they're actually getting really, really strong and healthy, so I'm really proud of my nails, and I've been addicted to like nail strengtheners and just... Um, just anything that would do with healthy nails is as part of my nail routine and I usually paint my nails and then that night I will like bite it off and have to do my nails again the next day so that's probably the only thing I can think of is weird number three do you have any weird phobias um probably the Oh, I don't even like talking about it because seriously it's making me scared and I'm home by myself right now I'm like oh um, I'm scared of two things. I'm scared of dying. Is that weird? Seriously? Everybody's scared of dying, right? But I'm scared of dying via like a huge tidal wave and then I'm gonna drown to death and die. Like, I'm scared of that. If I see that, 
like in a movie, I'll start crying. Like we recently just went to Universal Studios and on the tram ride, there's like, there's two parts of the ride where it's like roaring rapids towards you and it's like supposedly you're gonna die from drowning. That's not funny. Why would they put that on, on a ride? Because I was like scared to death where I was plugging my ears and I had my face buried on my boyfriend's arm like the whole time like no. I think the first time that I seen um, the 2012 like um, the 2012 preview for the movie I started crying. I was seriously like so anxious. I had so much anxiety. I was just like uh, I came downstairs and at this time um, I was with Chris because I was pregnant with Jude and I was crying 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 and he thought I was like on a weirdo on drugs or something because he couldn't believe that I was crying after seeing a movie trailer. I just like I don't want Jude to cry. I don't want him to die. He's only gonna be three years old. <laughs> I'm yeah that's weird. And then the other one seriously I don't even want to say it because I'm gonna die. I hate ooh. Cockroaches are dis. Disgusting. Like, if you have a cockroach in your house and you don't tell me about it and I see him running around, I will get the hell out of there without even saying bye to you because I get so grossed out. I'm like, oh my god, one of his cousins is going to jump inside of my purse and go home with me and then he's going to, like, signal his friends to come over and I'm going to have cockroaches everywhere. I don't know how they breed or I don't even know if they get down with their bad cells, but I just, no, I don't want them to call any of their friends over to my house and just stay out of here. This is a no cockroach zone. Like, ooh, I hate cockroaches. At my mom's house, we'll get an occasional, like, water bug. Oh, God, I hate bugs. Seriously, cockroaches are disgusting. Water bugs are, if you don't know what they are, they're like the juicy, ooh, God, I don't even want to talk about it. They're like the, the juicy, like, wet version of a cockroach. They're the black and they're, oh, God, I can't. Next question, oh god. Number four, what song do you secretly love and you blast it um, and belt it out when you're alone? Hmm, I don't think there's any music that I'm like really embarrassed about listening to. Maybe a Backstreet Boy song or an NSYNC song because I used to be a freak over them in high school. Um, seriously, if you know me, you'd know that I used to like cry when I would find out like a Backstreet Boy member had a girlfriend or got married or had a baby or something like that. But now, if Robin Thicke has another kid, I'm probably going to have to kill myself. Seriously. Um, but, not really. I mean, the thing that I will play over and over and over again until someone tells me to stop playing it would probably be my roommate because I'm, like, getting dressed and I play the song over and over and over again and she's, I'm like, okay, one more time, I'm going to play the song one more, one more time, I'm sorry. She's like, go ahead and afterwards play something else like Robin Thicke or something because she can tolerate Robin Thicke over and over again, but... Anyhow, it'd probably have to be like Drake say something. This shit was all I knew. You and me only. I did it all for you. Still lonely. Okay, honestly, I'm holding back. I don't even know why I put the song on because I knew as soon as we we're gonna get in front of the camera, I'm gonna be like I can, can't even talk. So let's not even go there. Next question. Number five. What is your biggest pet peeve? Oh my god. Seriously, I've got so many. If I sat here and told you guys all my pet peeves, I'd probably need to do it like a two-part, three-part video because there are a lot of things that bug me. Now, don't take it wrong. Like, it's not like a bitchy thing. It's just like, seriously, you probably hate them too. It's like a I heard that, Sonia, type of response I would probably get from everybody because I don't think I am ridiculous when I come to things or when I say things that really bother me. Like when you're in the bank, like in line at the bank, and I've tweeted about this numerous of times, are like I take two steps forward and then I stop and kind of almost like want to relax and like move back a little bit. Like I'll run right into them, like right into their faces, like right on my back or I can feel them breathing on my shoulder, or I'm like, just like, do you want to jump on my back so I can give you a ride to the front of the line? Like, what's going on? I just step over and be like, go ahead, go in front of me, because that is like, come on, seriously, give me some personal space here, please. I'm trying to think of what else. Probably stupid drivers on the road. That really irks me. I hate when people drive 
ridiculous on the road or even with me in the car and then with me and my son in the car oh hell no I'll be like you need to pull over and let me drive because you're gonna kill us both um yeah I've had some road rage in my day like me and my sister were in the car for one of our experiences and some guy totally cut us off and it's like did he just cut us off yes he did let's go let's go after him so yeah I mean, we didn't, I'm not not condoning my actions. I'm not saying next time someone cuts you off, chase them. But we were bored. We were on the road, and it was unnecessary because there wasn't very many people on the road. So it's just like, really, did you just cut us off? So we chased him, and I threw my water bottle like an NFL player. It twisted the cap off, so it was like a water bomb. I threw it into his window, and it exploded on his lap, and he went off into the exit. It was perfect timing, so. He got his, do not pull over, um, do not cut off a castaneda. Number six, what's one of your nervous habits? Probably biting my nail polish off. I won't bite my nails because I do have nails. I just take the nail polish off, like take it off and then I'm walking around the streets with like chewed up nail polish, so I hate that. So I've, I've learned my lesson and I carry nail polish remover all the time. I'd rather have naked nails like this than I have chewed up nail polish because that's just not cute. Um, what else do I have? Probably shake my leg. I mean, sometimes I even shake my leg to sleep. Is that bad? I mean, maybe I have ner nervous um, leg syndrome. I think that's what it's called. So that's probably one of my nervous habits. Shake my leg, grind my teeth, and bite my nail polish off. Number seven, what side of the bed do you sleep on? So, let's see, if this is a bed, um, and this is the wall, so yeah, this is the wall, I'm sleeping right here on the edge, um, and usually it's like, I like to have my bed facing, like if this is the wall, the door is going to be right here, so if this is the door, my bed is going to be somewhere where if I hear Jews scream bloody murder, I'm going to be able to like, hop out of bed and go get the door because Jude's room is like right next door to mine. So things like that. I sleep facing the door. That's my answer. That's my final answer. I sleep facing the door because um, I'm a freak and if my back is facing the, the door, I feel like I'm not ready for a home invasion and I can't kick the intruder's ass. So I need to sleep facing the door so I know who's going to attack me so I can tell the police who you are so they can catch you. Number eight, um, what is, um, number eight, what was your first stuffed animal and its name? Um, I don't know. I really, I don't know. I don't have, I really didn't have a stuffed animal that I carried on with me and I kind of wanted you to have one as well or like a blanket that he was obsessed with but he just doesn't so... I mean, I didn't have one. I mean, I remember toys that I had when I was younger, and there's this one particular clown that I remember, and I still tell the story to this day. You guys are probably going to think that I'm a freak. This should be like, Sony's a freak tag, because we're getting a little personal here. But seriously, there was this nasty little clown that was like about this big. I woke up from a nap, and he was sitting on top of my stomach and about to strangle me to death. So that's, that's, that's weird. I was little. You're not supposed to be thinking about clowns trying to kill you. You're, yeah, I hate clowns. What is number nine? Number nine is what drink do you always order at Starbucks? Now, if I wasn't lazy, I'd probably go get this right now. My order always never fails. So if you're around me and we're hanging out and we're kicking it and you're like, Sonia, what are you going to... Wait, actually, I already know this answer. Sonia's going to get... A tall, because I'm not trying to overdo it, a tall upside down iced caramel mochiato. That is my favorite. And if I'm feeling a little on the chunky side, I will get extra caramel because I'm like, fuck it. Seriously, my diet went straight to hell, so let's just do it up. Or if I'm like, mm, I just want to be really good, I'm going to get the skinny version. So that's a skinny iced um, caramel mochiato upside down. That's and it's a uh, size tall or whatever. Um, number 10, what's the beauty rule you preach but never actually preach or practice? 
Um, that would probably have to be like wash your brushes. Seriously, I just brushed, actually washed my brush today because I was so grossed out. And the thing is, is with a lot of my foundations that I've tried or um, foundations and like tinted moisturizers, I don't know, they have like a lot of wax in them it feels like because there's so much buildup in my brushes and this is my favorite brush, this is the F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush from Sigma Makeup. And, um, yeah, it just gets so, like, gross, and I have to constantly wash this brush. But, um, my other brushes, they seriously will only need to be washed or cleaned off if I use, like, a black eyeshadow, and I want to use something more subtle the next time I use that brush. Then I'll take, like, a tissue and, like, swirl it around, but since they're my own personal, um, my own personal brushes, and I really do wash my face before I apply makeup then I kind of feel like it's alright, but if I'm going to use it for professional use, I have a set of brushes that I use on clients, so I really don't worry about that. But Another one of the things that I say is probably to use your products before you buy another one, but seriously, that's a lot of caca because you know damn well that we're all going to be at the store, um, in there to buy diapers or something like that, and then we see like, what is that, is that a new mascara? Oh hell no, get in my get in my get in here, get in my cart. Like no. Then I'll end up leaving with a, my diapers and then like three mascaras, which is ridiculous. Um, bronzers, lipsticks that I don't really need. I've got so much makeup in this cart here that I need to show you guys my new makeup collection because it's grown a lot. Number 11, which way do you face in the shower? Um, when I was growing up, because I don't know if you guys have seen the movie It, it's a really ugly movie and I do not recommend anybody watch it, but I've been a freak of nature since, because like I said, I'm such a chicken and I hate scary, ugly movies, but it's like a movie like this monster clown that comes out of the drain, so I'm like constantly staring at the drain like a freak. So um, I face the drain and then when I'm facing away, I'm like washing my hair out really quick, but my eyes are open. And then I return back to like watching the drain, because like if he's going to come, I'm going to like step on his head and then jump out of the shower without killing myself. So I face the faucet, or face the shower head and the drain. Number 12, do you have any weird body skills? Probably the only body skill that I have is probably being able to like hold my hands straight and then crunch just like the tips of my fingers. I think like that's the only thing and then like my thumbs are double jointed so that I can like pop them in. I don't know. A lot of people can't do this. I can fit my fingers and my hand in a like chain link fence no problem. So I don't know what you would need that for but I could do it. And I've tried it, I don't know why, but yeah, that's probably like the only cool thing I can do with my body. <laughs> Number 13, what's your favorite comfort food? Um, food that's bad, but you still love to eat it anyways. Um, probably chili candy. It always messes me up, like hot Cheetos, anything Mexican candies, like I love them and I'll eat them until I have to throw up and then I'll eat some more because it's so good. And I eat lemon and chili like on all of my fruit. I just, my god, my mouth is watering right now. I want some pepinos with lemon and chili. It would be so good. Um, Probably just like candy in general. I have a huge sweet tooth. I'm sorry as I have my teeth. Jeez. Um, I love candy. So like anytime we're at the shops of Chino, I'm like eyeballing that candy store because I can fill up a bag and take it down to Chinatown no problem. I love candy and my boyfriend's like super scared that I'm gonna get diabetes because everybody in my family on my dad's side has diabetes like hardcore and um, yeah I'm probably not helping my cause there but I love candy. So good. I need to control myself. Number 14. Um, time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? Usually I will wear like a huge um, oversized t-shirt, whether that be a couple, there, there's like two shirts that I got from Cotton On from like, <sighs> speaking of sleepy time, it's about that time, um, there's these two shirts that I get, that I got from Cotton On in the men's section, and I wore them off the shoulder with like a belt cinching the waist, I'll wear those ones, honestly, in the street, <clears throat> obviously accessorized, 
or in bed just plain old like that and just my chonies and I just go to sleep like that. Or Victoria's Secrets. I just ordered or I've been wearing this oversized um, black shirt that says love pink on it or something like that and um, it's been in one of my hauls and I love that and it comes with cheetah leggings so I love that too. So anything like that and I've got some like little cute like nightgowns and stuff like that that I'll wear. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Number 15. What phrase or um, exclamation you always use or say? It would probably have to be like, damn baby. Always. Either when I'm sitting with you and you're telling me like, I looked so fly last night. I have some girlfriends that tell me that, okay? Or you should have seen what I was wearing last night. It was super, super cute. That's pretty much what it was like, how it starts. And I'm like, damn baby. Or Oh yeah, I've got two dollars in my pocket. Then I'll be like, damn baby. Like, it's just like a silly thing that I say. And it's mostly inspired by my grandpa because he would be like that. Every time that we'd come over and he'd be there in the backyard um, hanging out with my mom. And uh, I want to cry now. Because um, he passed a few years back. And every time we'd walk in, my eyes are getting watery. Every time we'd walk in, um... He'd see us and go, damn, baby. And we're like, gross, Grandpa, seriously. Yuck. You're like, we're your granddaughters. But he was hilarious. But yeah, I'd say that and then, hello. After things that are just like, really? <laughs> that I want to get your attention with. And I'll say like, hello, a lot. Or, I don't think so, player. Um, things like that. Or, you better back up. Or... I don't know, I just got so many, like, I guess, sayings that me and all my friends, um, like, kind of smushed together, and we all just use words together, like, I don't know, dramatical and romantical, or just, like, words that are not actually words, but for us, it's, like, words, like, disgusto, or, um, a creepologist, like, things like that, like, I don't know, I just can't really, like, say them without saying it in a sentence and without meaning it so it's kind of hard but yeah those are like some funky words that we use but anyhow that's the end of this tag if you have any other tags that you guys want me to do let me know I'm not gonna be doing the accent tag because I don't really do very many accents I mean and I think sometimes those kind of tags are kind of offensive they're really um, huge on stereotypes and I don't like them so anyhow Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!